Welcome to the 10th video on CSS layouts. In this video, we're going to take a little bit of time and organize our style sheet. We're going to talk about that because our CSS style sheet is starting to get larger and larger, and it's important to get control of your code before it dominates you. And the primary objective is to be able to find rule sets quickly and easily. And if we just keep adding massive rule sets all the way down, it'll be harder and harder to find things. So it's important early on to get control of your code and organize it in a meaningful manner, and then you won't pay the price later on when potentially you could have thousands of lines of CSS code. So what I like to do is use comments. Comments are your best friend in the coding world. And in CSS we create a comment by using forward slashes. So the first part of the comment section needs to have a forward slash and a wild card behind it. The end of the comment section needs to have a wild card in front of the forward slash. And so the browser will not read this. You can put anything in here that you like. And what I like to do is put a bunch of equal signs and then in caps write in layout section. And then we'll put a few more equal signs as many as you want. And there, there we go. And so this clearly tells me that everything below this is my layout section. And that's what we've been working on. So this is the body, this is the header, and so that makes sense. Now let's go ahead and copy this and we'll paste this down here. Now remember the footer is the end of our website. This was kind of the last section that we had. So let's go ahead and put in another set of comments here and we're going to call this headings section. This tells me that all of my styling for my headings is in this section. And this is a nice break. And keep in mind, headings could go anywhere on your web page. So it's not really in a logical manner like our layout section is. We can put these in any area of our web page. So I like to always have a different heading section. Now in the next video, we're actually going to get started on buttons. So we'll make a button section. And eventually we'll do CSS animation. So we'll make an animation section. So it's just important to kind of divvy up your code uh, in a meaningful way. Now you don't have to necessarily do it this way. This is the way I like to do this. But again, you can develop your own strategy. Some developers will actually create a table of contents up here and then organize it in that way. Now I should also point out that this can cover multiple lines. So, you know, I could make multiple lines in here. You can put as many different lines as you want in between these two forward slashes. So just keep in mind that's something you can do. Now, another useful thing with comments is to actually put them in the rule sets. So let's go ahead and we'll just copy and paste this again. And let's say that, for instance, we weren't sure if we wanted uh, our font size at 14 or 15 pixels. So we could actually, you know, let's say we were kind of undecided, but we wanted to go with 14 pixels, but we also wanted to keep a rule in here with 15 pixels. And so now we could save this, we could keep this here, but and in case we wanted to use this at a later period, we could simply just uncomment this out and put comments around this one, and then we would have 15 pixels being set in our body. You can also use this for uh, you know any type of rule, so that's a good way to remember different types of rules that you made without having to use them necessarily. Now, in terms of this strategy, you can also keep different hex codes in here. I do that sometimes, so I'll actually store a bunch of different colors in the comment area in a particular section and play around with those colors, so I don't have to go look them back up. I'll keep a bunch of colors down here and then you can kind of toggle them as you see fit so that's also useful okay and let's uh, let's open up our web page and I'll just show you that those comments did not affect our page in any way and there you can see we're still good to go so that's gonna do it for this video in the next video we're gonna work on the nav bar and we're gonna add buttons so we will do a whole series on buttons see you guys then